fix up the names while I cast the actual names of the people that we've got here. Um, down in the bottom right hand side as our Terran player. Unfortunately, I didn't get to research any of these guys, so I don't really know too much about their background. So we just have to leave it as is. It is... Is that, is that Wyman? Weeman? I'm going to go with Weeman. And up at the top left hand side is our green Zerg player. He's a Masters Zerg player. I did actually... Uh, I can't remember all the details about him, but it is Goat Swarm. Hang on, let me just make that green. I'm actually red, green, colorblind, so shout out to these two guys for picking those two particular colors. Thanks, guys. That's uh, that's really awesome. But uh, anyway, let's talk about the game here. We've got a, uh, of course, the Terran versus Zerg. Akalon Waste, a really nice map for this kind of matchup. I think some of the best games between TVZ that we've seen during Heart of the Swarm have been on this map. It's been a really interesting map just uh, due to just like how people have sort of evolved their play styles on this uh before we go too far into it let's not of course forget the wonderful sponsors of dreamhack we've got iso we've got logitech and kingston hyper x alongside the uh the broadcast partner and sponsor which is twitch everyone should uh jump on twitter or, or facebook or whatever and like their pages and of course um on twitter i think it's um I think it's at ISO, uh, at Logitech CS or something like that. And then, um, of course, everyone knows Twitch TV as well. So, firstly, guys, as I said before, we'll get through the uh, through the name shoutouts once, uh, once I finish up this game. Second of all, though, post who you think is going to win. Now, I know that's going to be difficult because not everyone actually knows these players, but uh, give, it a, give it a shot anyway. And uh, we'll see who, who is actually the most correct. <laughs> That's not even very good English. But, oh, wow. Actually, the SCV gets pulled off the line there. Uh, very uh, sort of scary stuff there for Wyman. Looks like Ghost, Ghost Swarm has actually delayed the racks just a tiny bit here. But uh, no worries for Wyman. It looks like he's going to set up a Reaper harassment right from the start here. It's, uh, it, it, it's, I don't think... Notorious uh, P.I.G. is going to win this one. Uh, I think he's already destroyed enough people for today. Isn't that right, guys? He's destroyed everyone that he's played against. But uh, uh, as we're talking about the map, of course, this is a, a a nice map that has evolved quite a lot. Originally, like a lot of people would like to take their expansions just over here. Um, but for Zerg players, of course, with the with the destructible rocks in this position, just sort of blocking the way, it's actually very difficult to take that one. So most Zerg players will look to take their third base just down here. Set up your hatchery there, get some creep spread going along here as well, and then you can really start pushing out along the map. But uh, looks like Goat Swarm going to have to deal with a bunker just out his, outside his natural base. And uh, yeah, it looks like, well, I, I don't know how much damage this is going to get done. The first few links now just finishing up as well. And uh, if the Goat Swarm could just at least get this SCV, this shouldn't be too much of a problem for him. But uh, the Reaper quite pesky. I mean, the Reapers are faster than slow links on creep even. It's uh, quite interesting how fast they are, and of course they do regen a little bit of health. But uh, the Ling's now going to come across the SCV, retreating for now. The Reaper will have to back off. He'll try and sell off that bunker, but unfortunately was not able to sell that. Get a refund. He's going to take it back to target and get a refund there, but uh, unfortunately was not able to do so. The uh, SCV just inside the main base had a little bit of a look. We'll see that there are no uh, no drones on the gas there. So Goat Swarm looking to take his third base uh, reasonably quickly now that he has deflected that initial attack. Will be a little bit a little bit sad about the fact that uh, he did have to make some extra lings to try and fend that off, but uh, there's no trouble with that. Back at home, meanwhile, Wyman. What am I saying? Am I saying Wyman or Weeman? Weeman? Wyman? We'll go with Wyman. Just because I think that's how you say it. But anyway, he's going to go with the double CC after the harassment here. Factory on the way. He will need to get out a, uh, at least a single Hellion or two, but he is microing quite nicely with the uh, with the two Reapers that he has out. So, keeping up uh, the harassment here with those two Reapers. Just trying to take out some of the links. I would like to see him push back across with some of these reap with the Reapers and try and clear out some of those links. I mean, he also needs to just double check if his opponent was going for the third base. Of course, we can see that Goat Swarm is going for the third base. He's just about to throw that down. His links have now finished up their link speed. So this is a point where the Reapers have now lost their effectiveness. He's going to have to wait until the factory cranks out a couple of uh, a couple of Hellions there. 
and once those are back out, then then he can uh, maneuver those Hellions back outside. But as we can see, looks like it will be a Bio style coming out of Wyman here. His uh, third command center still hasn't switched over into an orbital command. Unfortunately, just because of the way he's done this, with the uh, the Hellions consistently popping out, you do need to get two at a time. Otherwise, it's very inefficient there. He and also setting up those extra racks, he sort of lost a little bit of time on that orbital command. So that's one one uh, mule that will just be a little bit behind. But as we can see, Ghost Swarm going to set up a third base. He's going to set up some defenses here at the front door as well. Spine Crawler, a couple of Evo Chambers as well. Also going to allow him to get some upgrades out, which is really going to be quite helpful when it comes to fending off those drops and any sorts of pushes that Wyman may want to execute here. So we'll see this very standard sort of push out come from Wyman here. He's got four Hellions, a couple of Reapers trying to join up with the rest of the crew. These guys are really good at denying some creep. We'll see them just sort of come across, just try and sit in these sorts of positions here where they can uh, stop that creep from... What the hell is that? I don't know what's going on there. But uh, Wyman is going to be able to double check the third base. Looks like he's going to clear out that creep spread. Six Hellions are now up and running. You will see that there is a spine crawler at the top of the ramp. Going to have to be very careful about that. But it looks like he will be able to dispose of some of these links here. And if the Queens are not careful, he may lose. Uh, he may be able to take out some of the Queens as well. Nice micro there from Wyman to be able to keep a couple of those Hellions alive. The Queens now retreating. Two of them on very low health. And a third one is also getting quite low as well, but the Ling's not enough to deal with all of these Hellions. Down to four Hellions and just the one Reaper, but I mean, that is still more than enough to deal with all of those Ling's. So, it looks as if uh, Wyman is going to continue on with this harassment. We'd love to see some more uh, units coming out from him. He certainly does have uh, a great grip on the harassment right now. Unfortunately, though, with no more reinforcements, the Hellions are going to fall down here. The Queen comes about, and uh, she is very lucky to be alive. Th uh, 43 health on that Queen there, so she's... Uh, quite happy with that situation at this point but uh, what this has done it slowed down a little bit of the creep spread here but ghost swarm does have a couple of creep chimmers out he's also got these lings now pushing across trying to find if there are any weaknesses inside the natural base of wyman but he's got a really decent wall set up the bunker there some supply depots as well his scv count is a little bit lackluster at this point 38 to 50 drones at the moment but i mean that's not too bad there is no armory back inside the main base so there are going to be no hell bats or anything like that so Playing it a little bit, uh, I suppose, very early sort of Heart of the Swarmer style here is Wyman. Just wanting to get his uh, his Widow Mines out, get his Bio started. We can see that Combat Shields and plus one to weapons and armor are on the way for those Bio units. And that means that he's going to have a very strong mid game, but uh, just early on, he's not going to be able to put too much more pressure on. So um, one thing I will put to you guys... In the, uh, in the upcoming test map, or actually maybe it's already on the ladder, I don't actually know. But uh, in the test map, they've changed Hellbats so that they do... Uh, you have to get basically a blue flame upgrade for the Hellbats. What do you guys think of that? And what do you think of the change to Banshee Cloak? If you're not sure what I'm talking about, Banshee Cloak, the cost has been reduced uh, by... What was it? 100 or something like that? 100 minerals and 100 gas or something like that. Someone can clarify in the chat for me. And uh, also the, the build time has been reduced just a little bit as well. I'd really like to know what you guys think, especially if the Banshee change. I think that's a really interesting one. But anyway, we'll see Wyman now move across to look to take his third base. His gas number four is now up and online. He's got uh, some Marines, some Marauders, and constant production of those uh, Widow Mines now coming out. What we would like to see is another factory coming up for him, just so that he can set up a tech lab and get, a, uh, and get the drilling claws started for those Widow Mines. Meanwhile, for our Zerg player, he's got his tech coming along. We've got 2-2 on the way for those melee units, and uh, the centrifugal hooks are on the way, and Aspire as well. So he's looking to get set for this very standard sort of link bio play for, uh, for the Zergs that they love to utilize against uh, Terran players. And interestingly, we've also got Burrow being researched here for Goat Swarm. So... We may get some possible bailing landmines out of the map. It may be a landmine battle between these two players with Widow Mines and also Banelings burrowing about around the map. And it looks like uh, Wyman. Gonna do a little bit of a scan here. Wants to confirm what's going on. He can see the Evo Chambers pulsating there. The Spire is now being completed. And also inside the main, he got to see that there was not too much else going on inside here. But uh, he's gonna have to be prepared because there could be... These uh, very pesky sort of Ling and Bane Ling attacks that may come about. So we'll, uh, we'll see if anything comes around for Goat Swarm. It looks like he's just going to drone up back at home. Ten more drones on the way. His work account currently sitting at uh, 66. So we're going to go up to a total of 76 in a moment here. 
Some more Lings also on the way, 2-2, two, two, just over halfway done, and Burrow has now completed. So, uh, Wyman will need to be very careful as he roams about the map. We've got some Veilings now morphing in, so Scoat Swamp preparing for... I don't think he's going to go for an attack. It's not really enough Veilings to go for an attack uh, at this stage. But there will be a double drop of Marines and Marauders coming across. Some Mutalists have made their way inside the main base, not getting a huge amount of damage done. Actually walking into some of those Marines, and that is a uh, very precarious sort of position for these uh, Mutalists here. They have to be very careful how they maneuver from here. The Winter Mines may get a shot off. No, they're not. They're going to stick around, and it looks like the uh, Mutalists are going to catch out those two Ebays there, just off the side of the cliff in a very harassable position. Normally, you see people will like to put them down uh, somewhere around here, or even just off to the side as well, And uh, but uh, it looks like Wyman is just, uh, just going to keep them around there, and uh, he will have to prepare because there is a big attack coming. Now, this is the part where um, a lot of, uh, a lot of Terran players have been changing things up. We get to see tanks come out a little bit, and now, speaking of, uh, speaking of changing things up, it looks like a drop goes inside the, uh, inside the third base, getting a little bit of damage here, but the fourth base is now being established by Goat Swarm, but this drop, it will get a little bit of damage done if you were to target down that infestation pit and stim up and try and kill that off. You may be able to really, uh, halt some of the production from, uh, from Goat Swarm, but it looks like it will be taken out. The Muto is coming to the coming to save the day there. So Goat Swarm in a, a pretty decent position. I mean, I wouldn't say he's got the game in the bag or anything like that, but he's got his fourth base. He's effectively cut down quite a lot of the harassment potential that Wyman had. He's up to 76 drones at this point, and we've got a lot of lings. We've got a lot of banes also out to the side, and in fact, I think it might be go time for Wyman. He'll have to prepare for this big attack now coming through. Bailing's rolling up the ramp. We'll see how much damage they can get done. Now just rolling through. Some Winamine's hits are going to be big here, and they do get really nice hits off, and uh, they destroy quite a lot of those banes but more Banes are ready to rumble just outside the natural. Lings and Banes now rolling through. The Mutalists doing a lot of harassment down here at the third, but the Banes are now coming through yet again at the natural base. There is action all over the place in this game. And, well, we can see that Wyman has been brought down to a total of 128 supply. And if he's not careful, it's going to get lower than that. And it does indeed. Marines and Marauders blasted apart by the Bailings. The Mutus now going to get inside the third base again. The worker kill tally, not exactly huge, but I mean, when you consider that the worker tally is actually 50 to 75, we can see that our Terran player is in a very troublesome position at this point. He does have 2-2 on the way, but it is a little bit delayed at this moment. And we'll see if he's going to be able to deal with our Zerg player, who's now taking up to Infestors. We've got Ultralis going to be coming out very soon. And the 3-3 is being researched by Goat Swarm at this point. So he's feeling very strong at this point. And, uh, well, what I would like to see is another is a fifth base from Goat Swarm, either down here or possibly up at this side as well. And uh, as we can see, Wy Wyman is going to go for the, his own fourth base, but it's going to be very hard to take that one with an Overlord sitting over there recarpeting the place. And I mean, if you ever had to get someone in to recarpet, that's really pesky. And I mean, sometimes you just want to do it yourself. So he's going to set up some Marines. He's going to clear out the carpet here himself. He's going to find that underneath that are some floorboards. And the floorboards look, look really nice. Why would you carpet a house when you've got some really nice looking floorboards that's what i ask you guys but we do see the infestors now coming out wandering into the front of these uh, marines and marauders but now the fungal growths go down bailing's rolling through lings there as well and it looks like wyman is going to be absolutely annihilated there but the lings and the banes are forced to fall back for the moment their 3-3 is still on the way so if uh if goat swamp can perhaps just wait a moment for the 3-3 to finish his ultras now coming on the field as well It'd be a really nice uh, way to finish off his opponent. Like, we can see that Wyman is really struggling to, uh, to like, bring in the rest of his forces. His production back at home is really limited at this point. The Munis are now trying to fly through, get some damage done at the third base. A few too many turrets, I would think. You might need to back that one up, sir. And he backs up, takes out a uh, medevac on the way out. Too many Widow Mines around here to, tr to really try and push in. And uh, with the Overlord gone... He, uh, we may see Wyman take his fourth base, and if he can get that up and running and perhaps increase the racks count, we've only got, um, it's only six racks at this point, and I mean, it's a 20 minute mark, he's about to take his fourth base, and someone is lagging, it could be me. Uh oh. Wait, is someone lagging or is that me? Hang on, my computer's gone all wacky, guys! We're experiencing technical difficulties. 
Oh, this is that bug that I get sometimes where I can hear sounds, but I can't actually see what's going on. If anyone has any idea what is causing this, you should totally tell me. Because you guys can hear the sounds, right? Alright, so we got a drop. I'm going to audio cast this, alright? So we got a big drop. Uh, alt tab. Doesn't work. It's like the, it's like the video is frozen. Hang on. Alright, I can cast by audio. Yeah, it does seem like the video, there's something wrong with the video card. Uh, what I'm gonna do... We're gonna audio cast, alright? Alright, so, in the natural, we've got Ultras and Lings trying to push in, but there's a little bit too much there. Yeah, the players aren't disrupted, by the way, guys. All I can hear are, uh, we've got Marauders, Marines, a couple of scans going off. The fourth base of, uh, of Wyman is set up, but he's having a little bit of trouble defending against Banes and Lings. They're now about to roll through, coming into the fourth base, and he's desperately trying to defend that. And the winner is Ghost Swarm. He just rolled through the fourth base, uh, from what I could hear. Yeah, donate for a new video card. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah. Hang on, let me try and... Alright, I'm going to have to close SC2 and reopen it, so just give me a second to... Uh... 